Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder EX here, back with more Let's Play Shining Force 3 Scenario 2. And one thing that I've done before going into the fight, I have moved Zero back into the fight because I've been informed that Zero is required for this next fight. Uh, if we want to get Robbie. And we do not want to give him the Robbie Eye. We'll leave that on Campbell as it is now. Um, I don't know why I still have the black ring on Synthesis. I, I really don't know. I probably should give that to Uriudo or someone, but I mean, he's got... He's got Tornado level 3 with his Ankh, should he equip it. So, um... Granted, Fire 2 is probably better than Tornado 3. So, what we're gonna do is you leave the town, and we head back to the temple. And it's going to be a fantastic fight from what I've seen. And by fantastic, I mean I'm going to hate this fight. We arrive just in time to see what remaining Bullzome forces are here. There's a lot of them about. Look at them. Yep, they found us. Well, we found them, more honestly. And off in the distance, Fial has arrived with Gracia. Remaining descendant of the Innovators, who is not in any way, shape, or form related to the Shining the Holy Art cast, which is silly. But I guess they only borrowed some aspects of the story, uh, most notably the Vandals, the Innovators, Galm, and Julian. All other connections are null at this point. So they've arrived just in time, so it seems, mostly. And he noticed that <laughs> there weren't as many troops. And Don Hort concerned for Gracia's safety, because Gracia seems to be unconscious. Yep, we beat your forces. Again. This is ranking on three or four times that we've done this. Yes, we intend to fight you. Almost all the people from the Empire cooperating with us now, only the Median Army dare stand. Hmm. Oh, really? The curious uh, and curiouser. So you're basically saying that you've got the Empire in your pocket. There, and there's another group headed this way. I wonder who that is. Can't be Symbios, because we never made it to this area. Hmm. Possibly General Rogan's forces that arrive arrived on the Seagate, but it seems kind of silly that they would have arrived after we did. And the gimmick for this fight, in addition to having ruins that we have to contend with specifically, it seems that Bolzome forces have steam technology and have steam engines. The innovators have turbines. There are six turbines in this map. And they will arc electricity in certain patterns, and if you are in the field of those, you will get fried like you were with Colonel Sanders. And the pattern does alternate, and it does tend to follow your force. So there's really no good way around it. You're going to get shocked. Just accept that. Uh, and all will be a little easier to deal with. Like, if you try to avoid getting shocked, you're just going to frustrate yourself needlessly. You're going to get shocked. You can avoid it a little bit. But there are going to be patterns where you can't avoid. There are six pillars, like I said, the, uh, in, in a little hexagon-shaped pattern. 
and they will do this. They have 150 HP, so in theory you can take them out. Why you'd want to try is a little beyond me. Actually, I may try just to, you know, shits and giggles sort of thing. But what happens is you saw that they got their their turn first. If we had been standing in between two of them, we would have gotten electrocuted. And there is, it's basically, I think it follows the path of the lightning, so if it's within this little section here, we'd get electrocuted. It's hard to follow, really. No, I don't want to, I want to move medium there. So it, it is kind of a pain in the ass to try to figure this out. It is possible to get around it, but, like I said, you're, you're going to get shocked, because the first two sections of the pattern are very simple, because it's straight across, and then in, instead of progressing, you know, in a linear fashion, they go all over the place. Alright, so I can't actually attack from there. Maybe they can't be attacked. I was hoping they could. If you could attack the pillars, that might be cause to change my battle strategy, but it doesn't look like you actually can attack them. Yeah, there's no target, and it doesn't let us up there. But you can... S it almost looks like you should be able to attack them, which would have been very, very helpful. Because the first two, like I said, the first two sections of the pattern are actually pretty common. It's just straight across from the first set here and the second set. After that, you get into weird crisscrossing shapes, and it it gets nasty. I've been told that the pillars, the front two pillars, do spark one, the middle two do spark two, and here we go. Those guys are caught in between, so they're going to get spark two. Okay, spark three. Yeah, it's spark one, spark three, and spark four, I think is what they call it, but there's really not much a difference in damage. It's more just a difference in the visual effect. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to move our force all the way over here, because this is the ruins. We want to be over here. And we are going to get electrified by doing this this way, but again, there's no way around it. You're, it's going to happen. Just let it happen, and will all be better off. That sounds terrible when I phrase it like that. I really shouldn't phrase it like that. Alright, zero. Um. No, I'm gonna move zero where I need to move zero, because I've got more than enough people to where I can attack them as I'm moving. Because there's no way I'm gonna get everyone close enough, so I can I can attack as I'm moving. You want to put Zero in last, so that he goes the farthest forward in the party, so that he has the best chance of moving, because what we have to do is we have to hit switches with Zero in order to make him useful, and to get to the treasure section where Robbie is, and we have to get Campbell over there, so that Campbell can use the item to cause Robbie to wake up. So that's... It's a very convoluted battle. It wouldn't be so bad if we didn't have either the ruins or the pillars, but we've got both, which just make it an, uh, an exercise in aggravation. Alright, and I can't move Rock, so Rock's gonna move there. And then you've got this massive bull's own force that we're going to have to contend with, and it's just... It's a pain in the ass is what it is. And... I'm probably going to have Don Hart die, honestly. 
because I'm not controlling him. He's going to walk out and get electrocuted. And nothing happens to that one. It'd be different if they took damage from their own spark like that. Especially since it doesn't seem to allow me to shock them. And there it goes. I have an entire group of people. And so they're going to get sparked in the face. Fan bloody tastic. Uh, what is the pillars next? Uh, okay, the next... So that's the only one that's going to hit me for now. Alright, I don't want... I want to get more of my people over here before I start... dealing with that. And I'm going to move people over here, because since I can't send... Median in. Median Uryudo and one of the casters. Or both of the casters, it's hard to say. Are going to remain out here. Because once we enter the ruins, there it's actually going to trip a response from bad guys inside the ruins who are going to come out and try to gang up on media. So all in all, it's it's just a, a, a it's a bastard fight. It really is. So we're gonna have to leave people out to help Median so that he doesn't get ganged up on because it's gonna be two assassins and two hellhounds. And while that's not really a threat at the moment. It's more of a pain in the ass than anything else. And Don Hort will be the kill stealer and take out that lizard man, which is fine, because that means Rock doesn't have to worry about it. And the lizard men are only worth one XP. And at this point on my next turn, I'm gonna go ahead and save it in the middle of the battle before we progress a little bit farther, because it's we're getting to the point to where it could be very dangerous uh, to not have a backup plan. And who's getting the shit shock out of them this time? Don Hort? Oh no! It looked like they had... there was someone in the pillar. So... No, they're just sitting there shocking themselves for little to no reason. Fine with that. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Continue. And... Um, I'm gonna get everyone just a little bit closer still. I know this is not the most entertaining, but I'm going to be thorough about this, because I'm, I've already gone through a lot to get this character. I really don't want to screw up in the middle of it now. Um, one other thing that I forgot to mention, uh, in the last fight, or rather the fight uh, with the, uh, the Pilgrims, we very could have gotten another item that I did not get. If we had let the thief die, the old man in the house with the thief would have given us a power wine. And my cat is flipping the hell out right behind me. Uh, but if you keep the thief, that's an extra 10 XP for all of your team. So I figured 10 XP for everyone was a little more worthwhile than a power wine. And some people are going to feel differently, so I want to go ahead and throw that out there. I could have added it as an annotation, and I may very well still, but it's one of those I, I kind of want people to know just as the option. Alright, um, I'm going to leave Rock out here, because Rock has bad movement, so that's going to be 
my force. Everyone else is going to go inside. Alright, and now they change positions again. 4 251. I'm not entirely sure if that's a translation, like the, that's the specific translation, or if that's just their designated code of what they do, or if that's a, just a placeholder in the uh, in the translation text. If anyone knows, let me know. I'm kind of, it's not imperative in any way, shape, or form. It's just more curious. All right, now I've got everyone where they need to go. Um, Gonna go ahead and send Campbell to investigate, and because he investigates, he doesn't get to go in first. But everyone else can. And we will use this to our advantage. And I'm gonna heal zero before he goes in to... Not that I'm expecting him to take any damage in there, because he's probably actually going to avoid any fighting. But hey, it gets Uryuta to level 3, who learns Aura! Thank you! That now is the perfect time for that spell. Those piddly little AoE spells piss me off like this. Synthesis is fine, recovering. MP. Alright, I wanted to send Zero in last, but... I'm just gonna send everyone in that I can now, and hope that I can get around it the way I need to. If not, I saved right before this, so I can just always do this again. Whether or not I'm going to want to do it on screen again is yet to be determined. The hell? Oh. Okay, sorry about that. Um... Again, cats. Freaking me out. Uh, Don Hort's going to walk off into the sunset and get himself um, deep fried in 11 herbs and spices. He's actually probably going to die to those two bulls on night. Because his AI is just scripted to be stupid. Alright, inside the ruins we have two thieves. And then these bad guys, who will not come out yet. They'll come out during the next round. So, and the round changes, so the Guardian Pillars change their formation, and that one is now the, the one to start. There is a pattern in which the Pillars themselves will activate, and there goes Don Horn. This won't kill him but the next hit will. But again, I don't care. Don Hort's not a controllable member of my force. He has no friendships. He is basically just an XP sponge right now. Alright. And we're gonna move Synthesis. Actually, I don't think they can go around that way. Let me check something. Yeah, there's only two, so Synthesis can stay where she is. I was worried that they were going to be able to snake around that weird little segment and uh, flank Median and hit, attack Median on two sides, but uh, don't think that's going to happen. Alright, and Don Hort is going to walk forward. Attack a Bull's Home Knight, so one of those knights will be damaged before Don Hort dies. So Don Hort at least did not go out. He went out swinging, I guess, is a good way to. He, he still went down like a, a an idiot, but. There he goes. Everyone say goodbye to Don Hort. Bye, Don Hort. But again, no friendships, no penalties whatsoever for losing Don Hort, other than we just lost a character.
Alright, so now we're in the ruins and it's now action time. So these two thieves are going to go th forward. And Zero is way too close. But it doesn't matter. We are just going to send all of our people who are not Zero over here. Because what we need to do is we need to come over here and there's two gems. We have to inspect those gems. And really, Zero is the only one who can do it because you have to be able to walk up there. And I think Hazuki might be able to, but everyone seems to think that Zero is the only one who can. So I'm going to trust their judgment that they've tested it and Hazuki can't. So what we're going to want to do is move him here. And we have to inspect both jewels, I think, because each jewel will open one set of these doors. And then there's treasure chests on the inside, there's barrels on the inside, and then there's Robbie. Starts off uh, level 3, HP of 35, attack of 39, defense of 31, agility of 12, luck of 4, with a great shell. And he's a robot. What's not to like? Uh, don't worry about the assassins and the hellhounds. Like I said, they're going to go outside. Everyone else will go this way. And hope that I do this in the right order. Granted, it doesn't really... I guess it doesn't really matter what order I do it in. I may save it again. Who gets shocked? Anyone? No one? No one. Alright, um, I'll go ahead and end this episode here. I'll go ahead and start by saving it. Uh, I'm not going to save over my file, just in case I have screwed up majorly. Uh, anything I do at this point should still be fixable, but I'm going to go ahead and save over my other file. I, this is why it's always good to have two files to save. And, uh... No. Update, and we will save this file, which... I'm not entirely sure why I was saving that one differently, but... Uh, so yeah, I'll go ahead and end this episode here, and I'll see you guys in the next installment. Until then, later everyone.